Hi, welcome to the mothership. My name is Sasha and let's see what messages we have today. I've already pre-shuffled. So for the Divine Masculine aspect, we have the Five of Clubs, the Two of Diamonds, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Swords reversed, and the One of Earth, the King of Air reversed. Just calling out the cards real quick for those of you who like to know that information. For the Divine Feminine aspect, we have Ace of Diamonds, Four of Spades, Five of Wands reversed, Justice reversed, The Child, and Nine of Air. For the heart of the reading, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Four of Pentacles, and Knowledge. So this is beautiful. This is where um, those openings to celebration and living moment by moment and being really present in the present moment are coming in as well as still wanting that stability, maybe even not even knowing how to create that still that stability. But as this process of connecting with passion and happiness and celebration comes in, that does open new doors and new wisdom and knowledge also. There's also a message about um, really studying the tree and being rooted and grounded and being rooted and grounded in your own experiences because that's where your knowledge turns to wisdom. So really taking an inventory of yourself and looking at the processes that you've been through and why things are the way they are, what you have been growing, what type of seeds you've been uh, planting. Really taking a deep analysis of those things and also studying other people's inspirations, using uh, other people's wise counsel. These are all facets of knowledge and wisdom. So really being that in that realm of working hard on yourself in learning new spiritual strengths and understandings and drawing from uh, also the wisdom around you in all its forms. So for the Divine Feminine, let's take a peep. We have um, a lot of this stability energy. Um, and it's kind of in its raw form. So this can be your business. This can be the way you work in the world, your services that you offer. Um, and really, uh, I, when I say in raw form, it means all the potential energy is there. You can do what you like to do with it. So it's the beginning phase, it's where um, maybe those doors are just opening for you. And this is an important part to realize that you can also draw on this energy even if you don't see that those doors are opening yet. Um, but you have everything available to you, it's just a matter of tapping into it and using it to your advantage. Um, seems like uh, other people's influence is... Um, it's still there, but it's not um, like affecting you as strongly in your work and in your uh, desire to move forward on your path. Uh, some of the blocks and the hindrances I'm hearing are being removed from your path as you really open up to um, your own divine innocence and awe and wonder. So these are all important keynotes to get into that, um, that inner child essence. And it's not being naive, it's not being just a beginner on things, but it's really bringing that, like, that inspiration to life. Uh, there's still some feelings maybe of not being justified or even injustice. Um, 
you know, things not being given and received equally, um, not being heard. All these types of energies, though, if you work with your inner child and you really bring that to light, um, you will see everything shift dramatically in such a way that you will feel everything balance out naturally. Um, you won't have to work so hard at the old way of trying in your situations where you would try to create change, try to make shifts happen. You know, that's a very active uh, masculine attribute which is beneficial in some circumstance but in this circumstance I'm hearing um, it's better to be working so hard in that way on your own inner child um, so not focusing outward but focusing inward and really bringing that child into light in your life um, if you find it's hard to connect with what I'm saying uh, just go out and do something that sounds fun that you can really, you don't even have to leave your house. You don't have to go anywhere if you don't want to. But um, something that brings you joy and is very simple. Um, like even coloring, I'm hearing, is a great suggestion. Um, going for a walk in nature without bringing anything with you. Like leave your phone behind and see what you can discover. Really put yourself in that childlike space. Um, there is a need to really drop the mentality of things right now. Um, overworking with your mind. Feeling trapped because of your thoughts. There is a strong need to change your perception still on some of these processes. Um, and if you can create more alone time, um, hearing that will be positive as well. So let's uh, move on to the Divine Masculine aspect. There's still some heavy burdens and at the same time those changes are happening in such a way that um, there's a new found balance, especially with the monetary world. and. There is a recognition of the interference of other people and even old ways of being, old ways of acting, old ways of doing things. Uh, there's huge changes in these areas. And remember that the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, these are external and internal. So as you work on balancing your internal world, these two will naturally balance out. So this is a direct mirror of uh, where the feminine aspect is. Um, really coming to terms with what, cha what changes need to happen and what needs to be done about those changes. Um, and there's a severe need to let go of these burdens too. I say severe because it's creating undue pressure that is not allowing the breakthrough. So... There could also just be a sense of pressure building, also is what I'm hearing. And the, the other message is really about um, getting in that space to being in your truth. So as this pressure builds and there's confusion and uh, knowingness at the same time, it's like little bits of information, little bits of... Um, things are coming together to create that whole picture, but the whole picture is not always seen. Let's get a few more cards. Actually, I'm just gonna move to the guidance cards. That's what I'm hearing. So again, we have uh, Damara, the guiding children. We have Ishelle, the medicine woman, and Bridget, don't back down. So this is beautiful. Um, the Divine Masculine Aspects has a 